Okay, today we are going to be going over what is in our survival bag, or you might call it a bug out bag. So we are always out in the woods or out exploring, and this is a great way to have all your gear with you in one place in case you get in a situation where you need something that's in here. We've had this particular bag for about five years now, and we've moved a few different places, and we've changed things that are in here depending on where we live. So we're gonna jump in and pull everything out one by one, but first let's start with the bag that we got everything in. The bag we use is a Camelback, and this is the mother load. And believe it or not, this was actually a garage sale find. So this is a great bag. It's been through a lot. It's even been ran over by our trailer once. So we love this bag and it actually fits a lot in here. So on the outside, the first thing we have is a, a knife. And this is a Gerber LMF2. So this bag has three compartments. The front one, currently we do not have anything in. We're gonna jump to the middle compartment. So one of the first things I want accessible is some extra ammo. This is ammo for our 454 Casul. And then I also have some loose rounds of 22 long rifle in there. So always good to have some extra ammo with you. Next thing we have is a good compass. We've got 100 foot of 550 cord. And then I have this loose piece, and I always use this one for tying the bag into the back of our Polaris. And then we have a small roll of Gorilla Tape. We've got bug spray, a Sharpie, and a pen. All right, I've got a, just a plastic eating utensil. And then these are a pair of rubber gloves. All right, we've got two emergency blankets. We've got a cheap pair of small binoculars. We've got a flashlight. It's a 350 lumen Duracell with extra batteries taped on the side. And we've got a Leatherman kick, basic Leatherman. All right, that's it in the middle compartment. We're gonna move on to the main compartment. Okay, first thing on top, I got two pairs of extra socks. Right under that, I got an extra pair of gloves. Next, we got a simple first aid kit. We've got a mountain house, chicken and rice. We keep this one in here because it's a, they're a little bigger. They include three servings. Next, we have an even heavier duty pair of socks and a light beanie. All right, next is a metal drinking cup and we got a few things in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out. We've got another small section of paracord, Ziploc bags. We have water purification tablets. Chapstick, got regular and a Blistex. We've got one more cheap, small flashlight, one set of earplugs, and then of course, we've got our cup. Next thing we've got in here is the thick flannel jacket. Okay, reaching in deeper, we have a tarp. This one is a five, by, a five and a half by seven and a half. Just a nice lightweight tarp. And in the back, we have something that not a lot of people carry in these bags, and that is a small hacksaw and an extra blade. And the reason we carry this is in case you're ever out somewhere on a road and you're trying to come back and now there's a gate locked. So we always have something we can cut through a lock or a chain with. So in the next compartment, we've got little, some little tins I used. This one says fish on it. So that's basically a small fishing kit, line, some bait, weights, and a few hooks. So that's something kind of cool and fun to have. Next, we've got some really dry kindling. Okay, and then this is another tin. It says fire. And this one is taped shut around the edge to kind of keep it waterproof. And in here we have 
cotton balls and Vaseline. We have a lighter. And then we've got alcohol lens cleaners. And those work great as fire starters. And then this is our kind of main fire starting kit. And we'll show you what we got in here. We have electrical tape. Not really fire starting, but good to have. Got these a long time ago called Mini Inferno All Weather Fire. And they're like these little discs and they actually work really good for starting a fire. You make a tear in it, light it, works pretty good. And this is a lighter and it has a waterproof case on it. So just does that. Got a wet fire. It's another fire starter. And then we got a ferro rod for throwing a spark. So that's it. That is what is in our bug out bag. We didn't want something that was super heavy, so we tried to keep the gear just the stuff we really, really would need. Pulling this all out is kind of good for us because it hasn't been done in a while, and I can see that we are going to need to add a few things to it. I think we've eaten through some of the food, so we need to add some more to it. And I think we want to add a little bit more warm clothing. So along with all this stuff, I always carry on me my Leatherman, and this is the Wingman. And I always have some sort of knife. Today it's a Ontario Rat 2. We also carry some kind of pistol. Today we're kind of out in the mountains, so we have the uh, Ruger 454 Casole. And a custom holster from Zona Holsters. And we also have a whole separate kit that we keep in the truck that we've also done a video on. So we're kind of working towards gearing this more towards living in Alaska now. It's kind of a slow process. It's ever changing. If you guys have something in your bags that you're not seeing here that we would probably need, we'd appreciate the feedback.